Today we're gonna find out why Metallica is done, they're finished! Oh no, not another video of Shred shitting on Metallica! Well, hear me out on this. Metallica's latest record, 72 Seasons, isn't selling well. It's also received a lot of poor reviews. Now the truth is, it's not a bad record. It's just hard to measure up to their classic catalog. So today we're gonna watch modern Metallica play a song they wrote in the early 1980s. It's called Dave Mustaine. <laughs> I mean, ride the lightning. Along the way, I'm going to point out some key aspects in the songwriting that set it apart from their modern material. Now, if you want to write songs on level 420 like Metallica, check out my free newsletter below. Free tabs, motivation, inspiration, keep handling your hardwood on level 666. Take things to the next level with my full music theory course package, Double Fingers. That is a massive 15 plus hour compilation of four different courses that will get you writing your own songs, shredding with great technique, scales, chords, keys, and more. And the best resource I have available is my Patreon page. That's all of my courses, tabs, and Discord access. Let's get into this Metallica Ride the Lightning live in Montreal, Canada, August 13th, 2023. I got my axe on just in case I want to make a few notes. So let's go. Now, right off the bat, I want to make a note that this is more risky songwriting. They're using these fifth intervals to harmonize that main lick. <laughs> Typically hear the thirds or the sixths, so they're, they're out there on a limb as it is. These days, it's like Metallica is trying to please everyone, right? And that sometimes dilutes the artistry of the music. Now, I love this verse riff. It's built entirely on this tritone. That is, by the way, 6.66 half steps. <laughs> the devil is in those notes. Not to mention, this song is about, it's, it's, so Ride the Lightning is a slang term for getting electrocuted. It's a, a capital punishment thing. The song's about this guy who's sitting on death row. He's contemplating his imminent demise. Why can't we talk about this stuff in the new material, Talica? got his, his shiny pants on with his pants. Yeah. What? Now, they just modulated already. So we were in the key of E minor, right? And then they just changed to F sharp. So Metallica is, you know, they're, they're changing keys, they're taking risks. Uh, this is good stuff. James had to get way up there for that. No, he had castrated balls. Electric chair. Modulation of the whole step. Look at that guy. He is on level 666 Metallica crew. He is here for it. He's got the shirt on. <laughs> that So this chorus is interesting. It's chromatic. And then uh, what does it do? It's like... Goes up that major third and does a harmony part, but it's not within the key. It's a chromatic third relationship there. And that is, again, oh, it's, it's taking a risk. Uh, I don't know if they would do that these days. Wait for the sign to flip this into the 
back to the verse, verse 2. I love that little chromatic lead in to that line. Oh, give it to Robert. Come on, Papa. This is not a radio-friendly song, right? Uh, where did that riff come from? It's just completely left field bridge out of nowhere. Uh, I mean, when you're a 22-year-old kid, I guess that seems right. You know, when you're a 60-year-old guy who's trying to, like, please all of your fans, you know, and you have a wide swath of people, you know, partly people who are into the, the earlier, more progressive catalog, and then you have the post-Black album fans. How do you please everyone all at once? That's a cool line there. Wow. Listen to the audience response to that rip. Did you hear that? How the entire crowd was electrocuted, for lack of a better term, by that riff. That it's very hard to play a few power chords and get a response like that. But what what are those chords? What a sequence there. Uh, that's what I call a riff melody. So you could sing that. It could be a vocal line, but it's also, you know, something you're playing on guitar. That is really, really anthemic, huge, beautiful riff. And it just came out of nowhere, just a random change. Ballsy songwriting. And then it paid off. Look at these guys, they love it. Oh! Now they changed to F sharp. Whoops. I <laughs> just added a little something different there. Sorry, Kirk. Pop is on his knees. Give it to me, please. And who says Kirk can't shred? More shred. The song is all over the place. It's like a bolt of lightning on an electric chair. Who listen to this part? It's like a classical sequence there. Look at the sweat. Look at how much Kirk is sweating on the G string. He's just sweating all over his G string, playing with his wood there. Pop and Lars are jamming. That's a great riff. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're all over the place. I thought they were gonna go back to that big anthemic riff. They only do that once in the song. Get up there, Papa. Gas in the song, probably. Oh, this is cool. A variation. This is good composition right here. like that anymore. So the question is, will Metallica ever write music that good again? Are their best songwriting days behind them? You let me know what you think in the comments below. I gotta get angry again. They need like a cause, a purpose. You know, they're 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 on top right now. No one's questioning their authority except maybe Dave Mustaine. I gotta get inspired again, Metallica.